Hello guys, welcome back to the next video in Learn Android Programming Tutorial Series. In this video, you will learn to create your first Android application to print a Hello World message. So let's start. First of all, open Android Studio. When you will open it, you will see a screen like this. Now we have to create a new Android Studio project. For that, click on Start a new Android Studio project option. Here you can get, uh, give the name for the application and in this field you can give the company domain for which you are creating the application. Here is the name for the, pack, uh, name for the package. You can uh, change it by clicking on edit button. This is the location where uh, the source file for the applications uh, will be uh, saved in our system. Click on next. There is an option of minimum SDK. It means that the minimum Android version on which we want our app to run. For example, if you have selected Android 4.0, that means the app will run on Android 4.0 or higher versions. Leave these options as blank as we don't want to create the app for these devices. Click next. Now select empty app activity activity is a is a screen that interacts with the user click next here uh, you can give the name for the activity file and this is the layout file associated with the activity you can change its name if you want just leave this as default if you don't want to change click finish to create the project When we create a new project, by default we get the code to print the hello world message. So this time we don't need to write any code. All we need is just run the app. But, but before running the application, uh, we must have an Android virtual device. Actually, uh, virtual Android virtual device is used to run and test our applications. But before that, we must uh, check that all the required packages are installed or not for that click on SDK manager option then click on launch standalone SDK manager here you can see all the packages just download uh, all the packages under a uh, API level for example, I have uh, downloaded uh, downloaded the packages under uh, API level 23. Uh, you can skip these four uh, these four packages as we don't want to create applications for TV or wearable devices. So uh, no need to download these four packages. One, two, three, four. Apart from that, just download all the packages under the API level. Now scroll down. Here you can see a package Intel x86 emulator accelerator. It is very important package that will be used to run our Android virtual device. So make sure it is installed. For uh, downloading and installing any package, just select it and then click on install button. After finishing the uh, installing of packages, just click on Android device monitor. After that, click on Android virtual device manager. Now click on create button to create a virtual device. Here in device options, select the model for your device. Let's say I'm selecting Nexus S. In target field, select API level. In this field, select the uh, image that will be used to create the device. Select Intel Atom x86. 
any skin field you can select any skin or select no skin here is the option of ram you can uh, choose the ram for your android virtual device or leave this option as default finally click on ok button to create the virtual device so the device is created for running it just select and click on start button and then click on launch button to launch the device guys you may face uh, some error like virtuali virtualization is not enabled or intel hexam error these errors are very com common among android developers who use android studio uh, if you are facing these errors you can check my uh, article where i have explained all the possible solutions for these these errors i have uh, shared the link in the video description you can check the article now let's try to run the application click on this button here i am using my uh, uh, mobile phone android mobile phone to uh, running my applications you can use the virtual device that you have just uh, created so there are several options for uh, testing and running the apps you can use any click on ok this will build our application and then run it this may take uh, some time just wait here you can see the output the hello world message so we are done with our first android application if you are facing any difficulty while creating your app you can ask where uh, your queries in the comment section i will uh, try to solve your uh, solve the problems uh, if you like this video please share with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel to get more such videos in future thanks for watching